Hello aviators and the people who are interested in uh, aviation. Uh, I want to share our uh, flight trip uh, experience what we had last summer during the COVID outbreak. Uh, we were planning flight from Finland to Germany and we faced multiple uh, problems to be solved before we were able to travel abroad because of uh, COVID outbreak in uh, Europe. Even though we were flying within the European Union and uh, also we have a one plan to visit Norway which is uh, inside the Schengen area but it's outside of uh, EU. So this is our story. It's a travel story. It's not an uh, educational story but uh, we want to share this uh, experience what we have or had last summer so that you are able to find out uh, that it's possible to travel with the uh, general aviation uh, plane and in VFR even though there are heavy limitations uh, to the COVID and also without the limitations uh, there are some things that you should consider when uh, making a plans uh, for longer flight trips and I want that people are able to fly uh, long long lasting uh, country cross-country flights uh, and I want to share my experience so maybe this make a step for those who are wanting to fly longer trips uh, much easier to start their journey. So we started our preparations uh, to travel from Finland to Germany uh, even though there were some uh, COVID uh, limitations regarding the Sweden. So from Finland it was possible to travel uh, uh, to Norway, Denmark and Germany and the Baltic countries without getting into quarantine. However uh, with the general aviation plane uh, it's hard to reach those countries because uh, Sweden is in between. Okay, you are able to reach the Estonia and that is actually the one solution to fly through the Baltic countries uh, but then you should be able to travel all the way over the Poland which is rather bread country to fly over with the general aviation plane. So we plan to make some uh, calculations and we made up uh, plan A. And the idea was to uh, start from uh, Pirkkala in the southern part of Finland which is approximately 150 kilometers uh, north of uh, Helsinki and then we would uh, fly to Marienhan which is the westernmost uh, airfield in Finland. And then we could be able to continue to Denmark uh, the, the northernmost airfield in Denmark with that is called Sindal but there are some limitations in that because of uh, that this uh, approximately 300 nautical miles and uh, if we have a headwind it would raise up the endurance problem so we should have a some kind of uh, alternative uh, field before entering uh, the sea area in between uh, Denmark and Sweden. So we made up a plan that we uh, traveled to uh, Marienham and have a really full tanked up to 189 liters that is the maximum for, for our cardinal. And then if there's a headwind or we have to make some kind of uh, detour because of the weather and so on then we should have a uh, alternative field in, within the Sweden area 
and that is actually pretty good on the way uh, we have to fly anyway over the cotton bog and uh, that would be a good alternative uh, airfield even though it's in uh, inside uh, Sweden that was a uh, problem during the COVID outbreak so here you see our, our first uh, original plan A uh, the actual uh, image has been uh, captured uh, afterwards so this uh, weather information on, on the map it's not uh, current uh, before our, our start instead of it, it has been uh, taking a week uh, or two after after our trip anyway we make a plan so that we will uh, land in Marienham and then we head to Sindal 340 nautical miles uh, uh, west and it's on our road to Germany so that was our plan A. Since uh, it is on our limits or, or near limits of our endurance uh, to fly directly from Marienham to Sindal, we wanted to make sure that we are able to reach that area even though if we have headwinds and uh, normally actually you are facing headwinds when traveling uh, uh, southwest from Finland because those uh, current uh, winds are normally from uh, from the west or, or from uh, southwest so we uh, contacted uh, Sindal in Denmark and uh, asked uh, how they react if we have to make a f fuel stop uh, refueling in uh, in Sweden and actually uh, they contacted uh, the Den Danish police which is um, uh, making care of uh, uh, internal border control inside the EU. It's not a custom instead of when we are talking about internal EU borders, it's a Danish police that handles that. Anyway, we got the information that uh, we are able to land in, uh, in Sweden, but uh, we have to uh, be, be able to refuel plane power ourself so we are not able to ask for service uh, for for that but in Seve there is a automat where you are able to uh, refuel by paying with a card uh, by yourself and you don't need actually anyone to be helping you so uh, that sounded like a good good idea to to travel with um, and then uh, the problem was that we actually were uh, planning to trip to Germany so we had to make sure that even Germany will allow us to enter without the 14 days quarantine and actually they said that if you are allowed to enter uh, Dan Denmark without the uh, corona restrictions they will also allow to us enter to Germany so we make uh, plans and uh, started to get up uh, information on, on the, how to act in, in in Denmark when we are flying in VFR and uh, as well in, in Sweden uh, even though I have been in Sweden quite quite many times but uh, anyway I wanted to check out if there's some uh, changes for aviation regulations especially because of the corona uh, outbreak so it looked like that we are able to travel even uh, abroad during this uh, special summer 2020 so we started to make uh, our flight plan as as usual I have started to use uh, Sky Demon uh, as my flight planning software and uh, also as a, as a navigation software I'm not so long time user of the Sky Demon but uh, I have found it out that it's been pretty good for VFR uh, and also not only for as a navigational tool but also the tool to get the information uh, on my on my trip on my route so I I, I usually make a, a total trip plan uh, first to the sky demon so I'm able to get the all the airfield where I'm planning to to visit or or possibly visit I get those on on my on my route planning and I then I'm able to get very easy way uh, all the current weather and uh, and uh, notam information 
just before when I'm uh, planning to planning to go to the airfield field just to click on the uh, Windows tool and I'm, I, I'm able to print out uh, all the current notams and and uh, weather information and also I'm able to prepare the printouts like uh, map printouts for for whole whole uh, trip but of course when you are actually making the the leg first leg or first first flight you have to uh, have that as a real trip made so you are able to make a weight and balance calculations and and so on uh, right way uh, but that uh, I have found out that it's really easy for for longer legs or uh, for for longer flights to make a total trip plan as uh, one trip in into the sky demon and then uh, divide it into the pieces so that you are able to get every flight leg uh, separately uh, calculated with the balance uh, weight, weight and balance and fuel and uh, and so on. Uh, it's been helpful uh, tool uh, as far as I concern. For this trip, uh, I got some uh, 20 pages to print out uh, at the morning, and uh, these uh, printouts are actually not uh, also the current uh, from from exact right date. I, I took this uh, for my presentation a little bit uh, later. But the idea is that uh, information uh, not regarding the notams and, and the weather are, are right and are similar uh, to that one I had with me during, during our trip. Even though you're using a flight planning tool like uh, SkyDemon, you have to get the information also and uh, at least to read the information that has been gathered uh, to SkyDemon. And also the IAPs are relatively easy to get access uh, nowadays since uh, they are mainly in uh, internet. There are some uh, countries uh, that uh, requires that you have uh, registrate. You have to register for their or aviation authorities' uh, web page, and then you will get uh, more detailed information about the regulations and. Uh, also this year you have to really read the, all the long notams that you had. Uh, for example in Finland I find that out that it was really hard to find the actual information from notams since the uh, first three A4 papers were full of uh, COVID restriction uh, texts like uh, you are not able to enter the Finland etc uh, etc et except if you are fulfilling some regulations and those were not valid for me or my colleague, colleague pilot since we both were Finnish citizens and we were able to travel we, even though there were restrictions we, inside the Finland of course but some countries uh, they make a little bit differently they have uh, current notum information uh, rather right way in my opinion to pick up the real information about the closed airfields and airports and, and, and so on and then they had a general information about the whole whole field area uh, at the end of the NOTAM so that was much easier to read and you get the get through without getting uh, also all tired and uh, when reading uh, pages and pages uh, the information that uh, were not uh, for you, I, I would say. In some countries, it's uh, relative uh, common that you have a PPR uh, prior permission required uh, before you are able to land uh, for airfield. Even those uh, smaller airfield, which are not uh, controlled by authorities, they might have a club that requires you to have a PPR before you are entering their airfield you are able to get the PPR relatively fast but uh, anyway you have to have that and for example to save uh, that was a web page that you have to fulfill the information and uh, you will get the uh, answer uh, on the office day office day so if you are fulfilling uh, that, that Saturday and you want to fly uh, 
to save at that Sunday, you might not get the get the PPR in time, even though you are you might be able to fly at the Sundays to to save. Uh, anyway, it was quite good that we make a PPR to save via our web page because, uh, like I said, that Danish police was informing that you are not able to meet people in Sweden if you want to enter Denmark without uh, uh, quarantine. So through this uh, PPR that we filled in the, in the web and got the permission to to enter uh, save in Kottenborg, there was also the possibility to pay and actually you have to pay it uh, through the web page with your credit card after you have landed. So you don't have to enter any office uh, on that uh, airfield itself and that was a rather great way of uh, doing business even though I normally as a outgoing person I like to meet people and uh, share, share things and, and talk to people but unfortunately that wasn't possible at this uh, this year we had a time limitation when we have a vacation so that uh, there are some particular days when we are able to Traveled to Germany and that made it a little bit hard because there was a weather front coming from uh, northern Atlantic uh, towards Denmark and uh, actually all the way uh, to Finland. So we were a little bit worried about uh, what, what if we have to overnight in Sweden because of uh, the weather front that was coming towards us. So we uh, made the plan that uh, maybe we should uh, should fly directly to Norway instead uh, because uh, that we can uh, reach easily uh, within the limits uh, of our endurance in our plane so we check it out uh, what's the situation in in Oslo area and we find out that there is a Torp uh, airfield that was open for general aviation even uh, this year and uh, there was also PPR required, but not uh, on the tower respective. Instead of uh, PPR was uh, was uh, made to Torp services, which includes uh, uh, like uh, parking uh, permission and uh, requirement for for refuel and so on. So that was made that actually through phone. So I. Uh, made a phone call to Torp services and uh, they agreed that uh, we are able to enter, enter no, their airfield uh, at a particular day and if we need to overnight there we are able to overnight with this permission given in telephone for, for one night and if we need longer time because of the weather that should be arrangeable but we have to talk uh, with the services when we are at the Norway or at Torp so, uh, and then they also said that actually you don't need any services from us if you are just uh, refueling the plane. Uh, we have a PP automatic pump and uh, we have PP credit card so we were able to, to fulfill uh, by ourselves. So that uh, started to look like a really good option uh, for our, our flight trip. When the planet date uh, closes also the w weather forecasts gets more accurate every day and we find out that uh, there is uh, this uh, low pressure area that was uh, moving from uh, somewhere from Atlantic uh, over the northern part of Germany and Poland uh, toward Finland so that uh, started to look even better option to fly to Norway since the low pressure normally it uh, rotates counterclockwise so that way if we fly on on the northern side of the uh, weather front we would uh, actually gain some uh, tailwind because of uh, low pressure is rotating counterclockwise so this uh, torp trip started to look a really good idea to to fly with So we made our flight plan uh, so that uh, the original plan via Marienham 
in, in, in the western part of Finland that would stay as, as planned but we would continue to, to Oslo in the uh, not Oslo but the south of Oslo area to Torp uh, in order to to get the refueling there and possibly if we have to overnight there it's possible for for Finns to overnight uh, even though the corona in, in in Norway without getting any quarantine as well when we are traveling from Norway to Denmark or to Germany they are also accepting that uh, you are, you are allowed to do that without quarantine of course that uh, was the case at uh, last summer at the moment when I'm uh, doing this uh, presentation I think the borders are more strictly closed so we try to make uh, some kind of a checklist what we will need on uh, our trip and of course we need uh, uh, different kind of maps navigation softwares have to be up to date also in, in a plane and uh, life jackets are needed if you are flying uh, over the ocean power banks uh, since uh, sky demon uh, takes quite a lot of uh, battery from ipad and you need to have uh, possibility to to power up that and uh, since there is this corona restriction we have to remember to take masks with 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 us and that was not the case in Finland, we were not using masks at the time and even it was hard to find out those masks from the stores. Then we, we need cameras and also we have the longer flight legs and, and there are some uh, handy distress urinals so we ordered those from, uh, from web, a couple of them in order to have a, some kind of emergency toilet with us. And then we also need uh, uh, paper maps, and uh, we we had some paper maps as ready, but then we ordered also also paper map uh, for Cotton Book, even though we were a little bit unsure if we are planning or if we are uh, flying through that area, and the Malmo Malmo map, and that was mainly because of we were planning to return through through Malmo area. And of course the Denmark and uh, Denmark map we were actually find find from uh, Deutsche Flugsicherung GmbH service uh, from web where we were able to print out those those maps and uh, I I made a three printouts and put them together with the tape so that I had uh, in in as one paper or one roll of paper uh, I have a Denmark map as a, as a full eco map a valid eco map and then also the Oslo map that uh, covers the uh, area area from Oslo to, to the southwards and uh, also the main navigation tool at the moment that uh, during this modern time it's mainly navigation softwares so we uh, so we spend out uh, one evening together uh, making a plans and also uh, making our softwares look like equal so if for example other one loses uh, satellite connection or, or iPad broke or or you you run out with the batteries you have exactly the same kind of view in your your co-pilot's uh, iPad and also we copied these uh, settings to to uh, the, the cloud so we were able to sync it also with our phones so so everything should look like equally uh, out uh, recording uh, regardless of what uh, device you are using and then we also make a trip to the our, our plane uh, previous night and uh, make sure that we have the most recent update in our arm carmin area area uh, 6660 660 and then we have also old garmin uh, 296 uh, but it, that was only for reserve we just make out made sure that we have a cigarette lighter lighter a cable for it and then uh, paper maps are more or less uh, for for 
safety reason so if you lose the navigation softwares and electronics you are able to pick up your your paper maps so they have to be in a place that you are you have easy access for them uh, in in a plane and also some kind of order that so you, so you are able to find out that this route we are now flying and that's on on the top of the pile of papers or pile of uh, maps as i earlier mentioned uh, life jackets are uh, are necessary if you are not uh, able to fly to suitable shoreline so uh, we have quite many sea areas to cross and we will have to use uh, life jackets uh, quite a long time so we decided to get those uh, fishing gears that are really really easy to wear and they are not so sweaty like uh, those you are using uh, airplanes normally those yellow jackets but this also pops up and then you have emergency colors uh, so they are really suitable and I, I tend to use those also when I'm fishing so they were really really comfortable wear and if the shoreline is uh, less than 50 nautical miles away the pilot in command can evaluate it if the draft is needed or not and since on that trip we made sure that we have always less than 50 nautical miles uh, to the shoreline and it was the middle of the summer we decided that uh, we don't need uh, draft at uh, this time and we also tried to fly as high as possible in order to uh, make it possible to glide to the shoreline uh, or near the shoreline anyway when it is needed in one three zero and two two zero degrees Kevake temperature one two two point one zero QNH one zero zero niner
so we were happily landed in uh, Marienham. But then we should uh, continue to Torp in Norway. But here we start having some uh, difficulties. If you are interested in hearing more, please subscribe or and leave uh, some comments. That uh, shall I continue this kind of uh, video presentation uh, all the way to the Germany.